Hi guys, Melissa here. Today I'm going to do a swatch and somewhat of a review on the Grumbacher watercolors. The, this is the uh, transparent set of 24. You can find them at Blick for $38.25. The list price on them is $54.80. Um, I bought them at Michael's and I'm pretty sure they were over $40 and I think I used a coupon but they are less expensive on Blick. So um, that's the price I'm just going to go off of. Um, so as I said, this is a 24 transparent set. Um, it says, Grumbacher uses two formulas for their pan watercolors. So you can enjoy the clarity of the transparent watercolor or the velvety coverage of an opaque. So they do have an um, opaque set, which is obviously going to be more opaque than the transparent. So here's the way it comes in this plastic box. There's two trays of the watercolors. Um, let me try and see if I can keep that from sliding. So they're, they um, are on there with these little circle things and on the back. And the name is actually, let's see if I can catch that is actually on the plastic um, tray but if you choose to move them around then if <laughs> if you uh, aren't that great at remembering where you got it from you might not be able to put it back where you had it I have moved these around quite a bit and I did do my best to try and put them back on the, the right name but I'm not gonna make any promises um, but there is no way to, um, there is no way to know what the color is from the actual, uh, pan that it's in. The only thing that's labeled is the tray. So, that is an inconvenience as far as I'm concerned when it comes to these. Um, plastic, you know, I mean, for a lot of the pan sets, they come in tins. So, not very impressed with that. But, let's just, uh, do some swatches and see how these look. I'm going to grab my number 10 silver vel uh, black velvet. So let's start with the top row up here. Right here. This one says blue green. And again, I think it's blue green. I did my best to put them in the right spot. The pans are a little dry and kind of grainy. This paper is um, actually the arches. Um, the arches uh, hot pressed. So I painted on the um, back side, on the front side, and I flipped it over, and this is the back side. So I thought I would use this for the review. So it's good paper. The colors aren't bad. It's just the uh, the dryness and the way that the packaging is for these colors, uh, for the price to me, wasn't that great. Um, this color is French green, to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> uh, this next color is yellow green. They do take a little bit of um, coaching as far as getting the paint wet and um, ready to go onto the paper. But I think if you um, pre-wet them before you tried using them, you'd be fine. Green oxide of chromium matte. Okay, just take it out a little. Not bad colors overall. I did paint with them a few times and, um, you know, to be honest, they're not bad, but when you have other options that, you know, are easier, you're, you're going to tend to go for those, but yeah. This one is the Van Dyke Brown. 
a little bit of color on here. Okay. Next color is Burnt Sienna. And if you have um, natural hair brushes that you've paid a lot of money for, you're probably not going to want to go scrubbing into these um, pans. Indian Red. I haven't seen very many reviews on them. So that's why I'm doing a review on them right now. Yellow Ochre. flesh color. I do appreciate that they threw a flesh color in here though. That was really nice. That's a great color for a flesh um, base. Payne's Gray. It's a really pretty color. Again, these aren't terrible. It's just, to me, the the dryness of the pan and the packaging for the price wasn't that great. Lamp Black. Okay, so that's the first tray. The second tray, I'm going to put here. I'll just do a little close-up real quick. So the second tray is going to start with, um, actually I have it upside down, lemon. And I may have these yellows, oh, that's dirty, hold on. I may have these yellows backwards. Yeah, see, I have to scrub at this. That's why I'm I'm using the um, black velvet brush. So there's lemon. There's yellow. Indian yellow. This one is orange. Vermilion. Permanent red. And they are transparent. They are definitely as advertised. And the colors aren't bad at all. It's just, yeah, the work you have to do to get to them. <laughs> Carmine. Violet. Ultramarine. Sorry. Ultramarine. Okay. 
uh, cobalt blue. Russian blue and I'm not sure if I have these blues you know exactly in the right spot again because I did move these things around I did guess as best as I could and then we've got turquoise blue that's a really pretty color right there I like that one so here's the color swatch the 24 and um you know it's they're nice colors and i like the transparency of them but again the packaging and the way the pans are so dry is just the the major downfall in my opinion but there's my review and my color swatch and I'll probably do a painting with them. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.